people do the same old new year's resolutions right so you want to start eating better you want to exercise yo i just climbed out a hole that was so deep have you ever seen a rose grow from a concrete happy new year everybody 2022 two, two, not 2022 like 2022 2020 happening again but 2022, new year, new me. Excited about everything. I did a reflection video a while back on what 2021 was all about. Me going through chemo, me going through hours of operations, and surgeries, and all of these different procedures that I had to get during the year. And who knows how many labs and how many hours that I spent with my therapist but i've gotten a lot out of 2021. new year brings on a chance for you to redefine yourself make different changes that you notice as you reflect from the year you can learn for those certain things and what you want to enhance about yourself for the next year um, most people do the same old new year's resolutions right so you want to start eating better you want to exercise you might want to meditate go to church more be a better parent be a better friend so on so on it's like the same old things right but sometimes you have to break different things down in phases and that's what i want you to think about when it comes to your health of course it's great to start eating healthy and being more fit and exercising but on my side, looking at it as a health advocate, I want everyone to really take these three things as you move forward in the year 2022. First thing is being your own self advocate. I always say this, self advocate, self educate. When you have been diagnosed with a certain disease or even not taking it that far, say you are clearly a healthy person, you only go to the doctor to get your routine testing done, make sure that you speak up and you let the doctor know, hey, I want to get tested for everything under the rainbow. Make sure that um, if your insurance company does not pay for it if it's something that you can pay for out of pocket but always make sure that you know what your insurance does cover and if you can get certain tests done or not and that being said you want to do number two make sure that you get all of your preventative health procedures taken care of if it is a mammogram a colonoscopy you're just getting your full panel lab work done of course ladies go to your OBGYN get your pap smear all of those different preventative procedures make sure that you get those done um, insurance companies are pretty good at sending out different health letters um, now more so um, you can download an app for your insurance company you can search different procedures to see if they're covered at 100 percent or if they're covered at different levels um, since it's the beginning of the year most people have to start all over with your deductibles and whether or not you have co-insurance which is a percentage that you have to pay versus just a flat copay so you want to make sure that you re-evaluate re-evaluate your health insurance plan so that's number three. What I want everyone to do is to reevaluate your health insurance benefits. The top of the year, everything starts over. There might have been some different changes to your health insurance plan. Might be some procedures that are not covered anymore or certain ones that are covered now. Also, there might be a difference between what you have to pay versus last year. Last year, you probably only had a copay, which is a straight amount that you would have to pay like $25 copay to go and see your primary care doctor versus a coinsurance, which is usually a percentage. So the insurance company might say you are responsible for 20% of the fee that the doctor might charge. So that could be anything depending on what you're going in to get. 
you want to make sure that you go through your benefits before you go to the doctor or before you go to any type of medical facility to get testing done look at your benefits to see what is covered if you have a hmo versus a ppo is it in network out of network all of that really matters you don't want any surprises um, most medical facilities are good at going over your benefits before you're scheduled to get any type of testing done and to let you know what your out-of-pocket is but it's your responsibility to do that I mean there are thousands of different health plans out there just because you have Blue Cross Blue Shield it's not universal all the way around you know Blue Cross Blue Shield has different all different types of plans I mean thousands literally thousands of plans depending on your employer, depending on whether or not you have insurance through the marketplace, all of that matters. So make sure that you do go in, whether it's on their website, usually has the most updated information. Um, I suggest if you go to the doctor pretty often to make sure that you do download the app for your insurance company. Um, but you definitely want to reevaluate your benefits and look and see if your deductible has gone up or down. Once you reach that deductible, then you know that you have that covered. You don't have to come out of pocket as much. And basically, just reevaluate or evaluate if you have new benefits what your insurance covers before you go into the doctor. You don't want any surprises this year. But at the end of it, I want to make sure that everyone does these two things, self-advocate for yourself and self-educate. If you are unfortunately diagnosed with any type of condition, whether it be something such as diabetes or whether it be more chronic with something such as cancer, please speak up for yourself educate yourself because everybody's body is different everyone suffers from side effects differently and you want to make sure that you are doing the best for you just because it worked for person a does not mean that it's going to work for person b or work for you so make sure that you do that see you guys next time